So there are 300 uh, species of freshwater mussels in North America. And um, freshwater mussels have a really interesting relationship with uh, freshwater fish in that they need the fish to complete their life cycle. If a freshwater mussel does not have the correct fish <laughs> around it somewhere um, while it's trying to reproduce, um, it won't be able to have babies, basically. The way that that happens is um, the freshwater mussel releases its babies, <laughs> um, so the larvae, which are like these little Pac-Men, and those little Pac-Men um, attach to the gills of a fish, and each freshwater mussel species has a different host fish that they use. Um, and during that time, they're, they're parasitic on the, fresh, on the fish, but it doesn't hurt the fish because they're microscopic at that point. They're so tiny at that point that the fish doesn't even notice. And they only stay, stick around on the fish for two to four weeks. But it's really important um, that they have that relationship because um, otherwise all of the babies would just flow downstream. And the fish, the attachment to the fish provides um, the opportunity for the mussel to move upstream. Um, and so, you know, that means that that freshwater mussel um, can stay in its natural habitat. And most uh, freshwater mussels live in the habitat where the fish host live. And so the fish host kind of swims into an area that's perfect for a mussel. These mussels live down in the substrate. So if you were to see a mussel in the stream, all you'd see is about this much of it. Okay, so um, it would be sticking its siphon out the top here, and it would be um, sucking in the water, and then it would filter out the sediment or nutrients or algae, bacteria, all those things that it needs to live and that help clean up the water. This is the freshwater mussel that is the most abundant along the whole East Coast. Um, it's a common species, not endangered. We hear about freshwater mussels a lot and we hear about the endangered ones, but this one is a common species. Um, and it's called the Eastern Elliptio. And you can see this is an old one. Um, you can see how its shell is like really pretty beat up. They're a great food source for a lot of species that live in the river, so, or live around the river, I should say. But <laughs> because these things lived anywhere from, you know, seven to 10 years um, for a really small freshwater mussel species to somewhere around 100 years, um, they are filtering out and bioaccumulating everything that you would find in the river. <laughs>